George, can you elaborate on how your vision for the future of food intertwines with the future of us getting off the planet? There's a certain amount we could carry with us. There's a certain amount that we could shuttle back and forth as we do to the International Space Station. But on Mars, it's, it, we really have to be much more self-sufficient. And that means we need to be able to cycle uh, oxygen and carbon and nitrogen and sulfur and phosphorus in a closed loop. And it has to be monitored. And uh, we have to do it in a way that is gratifying. It makes people want to uh, improve and, and live and thrive. But in, back in our kitchen, we can prepare for this. We can have a, a device that doubles, uh, you know, goes from a kilogram to two kilograms in a couple of hours and can be programmed to produce you know, any tasty food you want. Yeah, it sounds really exciting. And DA, you've been involved with companies like Memphis Meats and SpaceX. What's your take on the future of food and how it relates to interplanetary space travel? Well, I think George's vision is a really compelling one. And it, it kind of comes back to what I said about nature being this incredible repository of engineering concepts. Um, you know, fundamentally, we're eating sugar, salt, protein. I mean, it's just elements arranged like everything physical. And, um, you know, ultimately it would be great if we had the ability to recreate those things with our own tools as opposed to needing to wait, you know, however long it takes for a banana to grow.